Hey what's up guys, it is your social YouTuber here, like legit, I was just outside for 8 hours and I'm just so damn proud of myself, you know, I feel like I finally got a life. But now back to business, in this episode of Asset Reviews, we'll be taking a look at the Tower Defense Toolkit in Unity, and if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below to show some support on the video, the thumbs ups are very very appreciated. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button too, in order to stay up to tune for new content like tutorials level designs more assets reviews and such so with that being said guys let's get right into it so my mouth still hurts um, not even a little bit like it's literally hell in, at this point in my mouth but at least the voice cracks are gone from yesterday's video, if you guys recall. But now let's get back to business. So this asset is a pack you can use to create tower defense games, which is also suggested by the name. I just punch my desktop right there. I swear it's become like a norm, a standard that I punch my peripherals and my desktop and my PC and everything that is around me while making a video. But the asset is developed by Song Game Dev and it is located under template systems. And this asset comes with a price tag of 60 bucks. So we're gonna talk specifically if that is actually worth the money. So basically with this asset, you get a coding framework which will assist you on creating and constructing any kind of tower defense game for your own projects. It also comes with a bundle of scripts that are flexible and configurable to fit a variety of different tower defense games. Some of the core features of this asset are basically it's mobile friendly first and foremost which is huge because especially like tower defense games are especially big on mobile platforms so it's a huge deal that it actually comes with a mobile support built in it is also not for making quick asset flip games which basically means that you can easily integrate your own art and your own models into the game and your project that you're working on by using this asset so you're not only going to be able to stick to or you're not going to be forced to stick to the models that are given by the asset but you can implement your own too and it supports a variety of gameplay mechanics and comes with a tons of customization options we're also gonna go through them a little bit later in this video so make sure to stick around because we're gonna take a look at what actually follows in the asset and it is also it also has a easy to use and flexible path system so when you spawn the minions for your game it's very easy to make sure that they follow a single path alongside each other or just like behind each other. It also supports procedural spawning and generation for endless game modes, which is incredible because if you don't want to, if you want to have like an arcade kind of game mode in your game, this is a very good feature to use. Now we're going to focus on the system and the, the pros and cons a little bit further in this video. But before we get into that, I just want to get into the developer response of this video, which is basically the support for this asset. Because if you purchase is an asset especially for 60 bucks you obviously want to get the help you actually deserve so i can't really see any replies on the asset store page reviews but there is an active forum thread up and running which is in fact also named support forum which hints to the fact that there is activity going on which is amazing because once again if you pay 60 bucks you also want to receive a quality for 60 bucks the asset is also supported in terms of updates and how regular the updates are because the initial release the initial version was released in june 2017 and the current version is at 4.0.1 f3 which is a like a, a specific version of that 4.0.1 which was released previous month actually now before we take a look at what actually comes in the asset part of this video we're gonna go through the pros and cons for this asset from my perspective from my personal thoughts and opinions after a week of using this asset so the asset is very easy to get going with when i picked it up and got into unity i opened it up i didn't really find it difficult to get into it because there was a documentation that actually followed up with what you had to do in order to get started there are also very very good design demo scenes that make sure that you you're using the asset in the right way so it also offers a lot of options for customization like i said before to ensure that you don't just make an asset flip game but you actually make it your own ip right and like i said in incredibly well designed demo scenes which truly demonstrate the power of this pack because you really get to see the the figures in action and that's what you're all about when you actually purchase a template for your game and there's also mobile support like i said before which is where the games or these games usually shine because when you're making a tower defense game obviously you can make it on pc you can make it on ps4 and all the other platforms and consoles right but 
especially on mobile, because of the fact that the child audience is very interested in these kinds of games, you're gonna be able to put a lot of focus on that platform too. Now for the cons part of this asset, I only have like a single point that I wanna take up, which isn't a huge thing, like I don't really wanna bring it up. I didn't even want to bring it up, but still I wanna be as unbiased and as honest and transparent with you guys as possible. So the previous version of this asset had a mode called FPS mode, right? And with this version of the asset, it's unfortunately been dropped and it's no longer supported but like i said it's not a huge deal honestly because it, but it was a feature that they could have maybe included in this version too but they probably had their reasons and it doesn't make me and it does not make me want to not want to buy the asset so it's, is it a huge con definitely not i'm still gonna go with this asset but it's just something that they could have perhaps added in Alrighty guys, so as I promised you before, we're now going to take a look at what actually follows in the asset to see what you actually get when you open it up. So, first and foremost, we have the Mother Root folder here, like I usually say in this series, uh, in this show. Um, and in here we have a few icons, we have a few icons unit, and also the icon itself for the asset store page, so it's just for reference. Then you have a PDF, which is the documentation to get you started, and then right off the bat we have all the folders. So, first and foremost, we have a folder called animation and inside of here you actually have the animation for uh, the units that are going to move basically the minions you also have a example prefabs folder which will contain all the examples for the creep which is the minion that is going to move through your game uh, which is also going to get shot uh, which sounds kind of kind of a little bit you know weird when you actually say it out loud but you know what i mean you also have the dummy animation clip, which is for the creep once again. So if you want to use these for your game, you're free to do so. But they are also there for reference in case you want to take inspiration. So next up, we also have audio clips, which are included in this asset, as you can see, obviously. Uh, these are for such as cannon tower being, you know, the, the shooting for the tower uh, explosion, which is honestly, I never saw anything explode thus far. But uh, I would pre I would presume or assume that it's something with the creeps to do. Um, you also have laser towers, so basically all the different kinds of towers you can build by default. And then obviously you can add your own sound effects, your own tower models and types and such. So uh, it's all good if you want to you know modify everything here. Uh, we also have the modular sci-fi asset set, which is pretty much just another asset that is included here, uh, which is created by the same author. So in case you want to use that, you can do so. It's actually included for free, which is pretty awesome to see. Then you have the prefabs folder where you got all the towers and uh, shoot objects and also the creeps themselves in here, which are going to once again move through your scene and get shot at. Um, so in case you want to use them, obviously you're free to do so, but like I said before, this is not an asset flip asset pack, like it doesn't support, or it does basically support that, but it, it's not meant to be that way, so in case you want to modify it, once again, you're completely free to do so. Then you also have the resources folder where it's basically a new scene prefab, uh, where, where you basically can use the UI that is given here in the example scene. Also a DB, which is supposed, oh yeah, it is actually for the abilities. I forgot what the asset or this uh, the folder was for, but it's basically for the abilities themselves in case you want to use them and uh, see how they look in game when you're actually putting it to demonstration, right? So we also have the demo scenes, obviously a, th this is actually very good of a line because if you enter this scene right here, let's not save it. If you enter this scene, you can actually see a, live kind of preview of what you're getting if you click on these buttons now i haven't added them to my scene um well the, the build options right where you add all your scenes so if i click on one it's not really going to open but it's very easy to fix i'm just kind of tired right now or maybe a little bit lazy is a better word or a better description of it but that's actually pretty cool to include because he obviously spent a lot of time on to creating this so make sure to go ahead and use it it's, it's actually very good to use to see the visual interpretation of all these demo scenes um but you also have them uh, separately here so you have a demo linear freeform I think we were actually inside of this one yep we were so if you play the game obviously you can see the grid lines being spawned on these items or these platforms you can place all your towers here freely and um, you can also spawn the minions right there and you can still place uh, the towers as you can see they also stick um, to the to the grid that you're actually placing them on which is actually pretty cool so there is support for that as well 
Then we have the scripts folder, which is where all the scripts for this asset lay, uh, textures and materials, which are basically for the towers, for the platforms, the creeps and all that. Um, and then we have a UI folder, last but not least, which is for a little animation for the, the button controller itself. Like when you press the spawn button, this, this little animation happens, like it, you know, fades off. And um, you also have the UI sprites, so in case you want to use that, you're free to do so. Alright guys, and that was what actually comes in the asset. Um, before we end this video, I just want to conclude and talk a little bit about my personal opinions, thoughts, and who would I actually recommend this asset to. So anyone making a tower defense game for PC, uh, mobile, or any other kind of platform and want to have the core mechanics given ready for the developer, for yourself, definitely check this out. It's quite cheap for its quality. The 60 bucks IMO is very worth it. And like as I also said before, the demo scenes will give you a great overview of how to use this asset and the asset is actively being updated so I, I don't really feel like I lost anything by spending these $60 on the asset. I'm actually pretty satisfied with my purchase. And with that being said guys, we are gonna wrap it up thank you so much for watching this episode of asset reviews in unity make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed those thumbs up literally make my day we literally you guys exploded the video the previous video which i didn't expect we're like at 240 likes at that i think and the like goal was 120 so we have doubled the amount under one day which is insane thank you guys so much for all the support let's see if we can break the like goal on this video too guys it's very important for me to see the likes not because i care about the numbers only like obviously a number the numbers are very important for a youtuber but not only because of that but I also want to make sure that I see clearly with like visually and obviously which kinds of videos you actually enjoy. Now I know a lot of you guys love these series, the the show where we review the assets, so make sure to drop a like, it really supports me a lot. And guys, make sure to join Discord, the link is in the description. We are now running a new series where I am going to be reviewing your PC setups and the complete desktop setup. So in case you have a beautiful looking setup, which you probably didn't spend a lot of money on, or if you didn't spend a lot of money on you're gonna have a chance to be actually featured in a video that i'm going to start like i said it's a new series we haven't started yet so make sure to join discord and drop your setups also we are running a giveaway right now over at our discord server once again the link is in the description and also in the pinned comment now last but not least i want to hear what you guys think of this asset do you think that it's worth it or do you not think that it's worth it if you're a customer or maybe you have already purchased the asset or if you're planning to purchase it let us know what you think and how it looks for from your perspective because I talked about my perspective but I always wonder what my community thinks so hit us up in the comments and with that being said hope you all enjoyed once again thank you for watching I'll catch you in the comments or in the discord server see you guys good night